Okay, we're back on Project White out here. Uh, everything's painted up, stuff's going back together. Uh, here's the chassis, uh, put a few things back on, the belly pan, just kind of set the tank in for right now so the upholster could come over and test fit the fit seat here a couple times. Get the handlebars on, do a little polishing on that. Here's the hood sitting over here. Got the white done on it and the uh, correct flat black for 74, 75, then they went to the midnight blue on the hoods. What I wanted to talk about here was cleaning the track. My absolute disaster of a workbench going on right now. Uh, but this cleaning or uh, studying of a cleated track is not a fun deal. I found a couple things online that definitely helped me out on this, so I want to pass on a little bit of uh, helpful information. So what we did is we kind of marked out our pattern as we went with a, a paint pen, ground it off, just used a right angle grinder here, ground the top of the rivet off, and then this is the key is being that cleats are hardened uh, carbide. You want to use something with carbide to make your hole bigger. You can use a carbide drill bit or a carbide hammer drill bit. That's what I used. Uh, they're not very expensive. These hammer drill bits are anywhere from four and a half to ten dollars at the most for and I used a quarter inch so and then I just have it in drill mode I'm not using it in hammer mode I'm using it just in the drill mode so you drill through your cleat and uh, which is nice is the drill bit actually gets hot as it's going through and it kind of melts its way through the rubber then it's that's good it seals the rubber up good and I was uh, spraying some just whatever I had for lube around, I'll spray it on there to help cool the bit down. And then the second step I did, because I'm using a 7 millimeter uh, diameter carbide stud. It's a Woody's product. I'll show you my pile of studs here. So it's a 750 long, uh, 7 millimeter diameter. Once again, I said this is, is the Woody's product. Um, and so anyways, the hammer drill bit, like your first couple holes, you'll be able to slip the stud through the hole. But as that carbide starts to wear down on that hammer drill bit, you can't slip it through after just a couple holes. So what I used then was a tapered ream. So after I drilled them, then I would spray some more lube on the holes and I'd go back in with a tapered ream and just open up that hole just slightly. And that tapered ream cuts really well. Um, I used two hammer drill bits to do the whole track. Um, and one tapered ream and there's no no uh, wear on the tapered ream at all hammer drill bits got beat up pretty good so uh, I just want to pass this on hopefully this will help somebody when they want to study cleated track I'll uh, kind of stand here and look down kind of see my pattern it's just a three on one cleat two on the next cleat could have went a lot more but sled's not going to see a lot of ice time it's going to be you know a little bit of trail ridden uh it's going to be for enjoyment so i didn't want to go too nuts on the studs i think when i calculate it out i i have about 87 studs in here um it'll be plenty it's better than just regular cleats so uh that's what i wanted to show you guys thanks for watching thanks